This is SpaceCoastDaily.com here with Matt Nye. He's a government watchdog. He was the one who initiated the original investigation into Blueware. Mr. Nye, could you tell us about how you uh, were uh, initially inspired to start this investigation? Yeah, actually, uh, as you probably know, this uh, the, the, the real meat of all this happened during the primary election last year where the former clerk, Scott Ellis, was challenging the sitting clerk, uh, Mitch Needleman, and I think probably the, the big uh, gotcha moment in the whole thing that really made everybody dig in, or at least uh, Scott and the other folks that were working with us, was at a candidate forum on, I believe it was May 24th, Needleman said in, a, in, in the uh, Q&A, uh, somebody had specifically asked what relationship there was between the clerk's office and Blue Wear and Matt Dupree and Blue Wear. And the, that whole RFP thing came up. And he actually said on camera on May 24th, that no vendor had been selected for the RFP. And then just a few days later, we found out that he had wired a half a million dollars to Blueware the night before the forum. And so that was really the gotcha uh, moment, if you will, that really made everybody say, okay, I mean, we knew that, you know, bad things were happening just based on gossip and whatnot, but uh, that was, we were able to obtain uh, a copy of the actual wire transfer, the money that was sent the night before he made that comment, and then, you know, that was really the turning point in the whole thing, so...